If you're looking for a quick walkthrough on how to get set up on the portal, you're in the right place. The aim of this video is for you to get an overview of what is available with a brief explanation of how to set up basic features. There are more detailed videos for each feature, but this is to help you get set up and ready to go in just a few minutes. First of all, you need to sign up for access here. Complete your details, press submit, and we will link your company account to your portal login. If you've received a portal invitation by email, one of our sales team might will have already done this for you. In which case, simply accept the invite and set up an account password. When you log in, you come to your account dashboard. To place orders, you will need to have all your users and projects set up. You can view your users here. If you'd like to add a new user, by default, only the office manager or super user can set one up. But there is a setting that can be changed by the admin to enable you to manage users, which will give you the permissions to create a user. If you'd like to create a project, on the projects page, click on new project, and here you can fill in all the details and press save. All this information will automatically populate for every order under this project, but it can be overwritten for a quick order if required. The next steps for the projects is users. Here you can enable the access to the users who can create orders and requisitions for that project. Any users that don't have the project enabled against this account will not be able to place orders or create requisitions for it. To speed up your ordering process, we recommend you set up favorites. On the favorites page, you can find an item by searching by cart or name, or below the search bar, you can view by suggested items based on your recent purchase history. Click add to favorites and add to your list. So when you go to place an order, it's a quick button that you can easily access on the order page with all of your relevant products. You can also access favorites when placing requisitions. The process of placing an order or requisition is very similar. The only difference being that the requisition requires your company approval before placing, whereas a quick order comes straight to us. Other control features include spend limits and orders and approved items. Approved items are a list of products set by you for either a site or your whole company. Any products outside of this list are not available for purchase. Lastly, once an order is placed on either the portal or with the sales team, you can track it and download PODs and invoices. To learn more about each feature, take a look at the Site Manager Portal Onboarding Guide or click on the link to book a demo with one of our team. Thanks for watching.